Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back with Minaden. In this video, I want to show you how to get started with Cloud Code Sub Agents so that you can improve your productivity. So if you've been using Cloud Code for a while, then you probably agree that it's an extremely powerful tool for coding tasks. And recently, it just got a game-changing upgrade with the introduction of Sub Agents. Sub Agents are custom AI personalities that can be configured to complete specific tasks. Each sub-agent comes with its own expertise and specific purpose, it uses its own context window separate from the main conversation, can be configured with specific tools it's allowed to use, and includes a custom system prompt that guides its behavior. This is very useful as it can reduce hallucination, improve context management, and more importantly, enables Cloud Code to delegate tasks to the sub-agents, which work independently from the main conversation. Think of it like deploying a team of expert agents, each one handling different parts of your development workflow. One agent could manage git repositories while another could focus on debugging errors and then another one could specialize in updating documentation when new features are completed. The key benefits of using sub agents include preserving context to keep the main agent focused on high level goals, fine-tune the agent so that it has higher success rates on designated tasks, reuse sub-agents as it can be used across different projects as well as different tasks that shared across your team, and then control access as all sub-agents will have their own flexible permission settings. Okay, let me show you how to get started with Cloud Code sub-agents next. Now before we get into the fun part, let's give a quick shout out to ByteRover, the sponsor of this video. ByteRover is a powerful tool that enables you to share project contacts and key important knowledge across IDEs, projects, and teams. This means when someone starts a new conversation, the agent doesn't begin from scratch. It remembers what your team has already discussed and project progress, so you don't have to keep re-explaining it to the AI. You can think of Byte Rover as a unified memory layer that connects all your AI coding agents and makes them smarter together. For example, you might start coding in cursor, describing a project brief. The next day, a teammate could jump in with a new conversation, and instead of starting over, the agent already knows the project progress. With Byte Rover, all that knowledge is saved and shared even across IDEs. So conversations in cursor can be picked up in Winserve, GitHub Copilot, Cloud Code, or any supported environment your team uses. And if your team prefers open source tools, ByteRover recently launched Cypher, an open source memory layer that you can plug into your IDE with zero configuration. Here's a quick demo in Cloud Code. Cypher automatically stores and fetches workflows, bug fixes, and feature plans from your code base in real time, enabling Cloud Code to instantly understand the project as if it has been working on the project for a long time. Whether you're working solo or across a dev team, both ByteRover and Cypher are designed to make your coding agents more intelligent and useful. Check out the link in the description to try ByteRover today, it's completely free to get started. Now, let me show you how to create sub agents in Cloud Code. So, here on the screen, I already have Cloud Code installed and run on the terminal. To create a sub agent, you simply need to run the slash agents command, and Cloud Code will show you all agents available on your computer. For the first time, you should only see the default agent as follows. Now, let's select create new agent as shown here. You can select whether to create the agent only for the current project or make it available globally with this personal option. I'm going to select project for now, and then for the creation method, you can let Cloud generate the agent configuration based on a prompt or configure it all manually. I will select generate with Cloud option for now. We will try the manual configuration next. Okay, now you have to describe what the agent can do. Since I want an agent that's good with front-end tasks, I would just say expert front-end developer that code high-quality React components. It prioritizes maintainability, user experience, and aesthetics. Press enter here, and Cloud will process the prompt to create the agent for us. And then after a while, you will be asked to configure the tools that can be used with this agent. By default, all tools will be added to the agent, such as the read and write tools, as well as MCPs. You can disable any tool by selecting it and then press enter. You can also select advanced options here to see all tools connected to Cloud Code. Um, the list is too long here, and every time I press up or down, the screen goes to the bottom again. But basically, you can enable or disable each tool manually with the advanced options. I will just allow all tools for now, so let's continue to the next step. Now, we can select the model to use with the agent, either Sonnet, Opus, or Haiku model. And you can also let it use the same agent as the main conversation. I will select Sonnet here, and now we can choose the background color for this agent. 
I suggest you just go from the first color to the last for all these agents. So since this is the first agent, just select red and cloud code will show all details about the agent and asks you to confirm or edit this agent description. I think this is all good, so let's press enter here. And now we have this React Component Builder agent listed in the agents menu. And yeah, that's how you create sub agents in cloud code. Next, we will run the sub agent we just created. But first, let me show you the demo project that will be assigned to the agent. So here, I have a CRM dashboard project created using React and Tailwind CSS. There are React components created in this project for the dashboard UI. Let's preview this project in the browser. So here's the dashboard. It provides an overview of the data included in this dashboard. And then there are several menus on the left sidebar here. But currently, the pages are not yet implemented. Uh, there is only a coming soon template on these pages. So what we're going to do next is to use the agent to implement the customer page right here. So back in Cloud Code, let's ask it to use the React Builder to add the customer page to this project. The customer page should list all customers and then be able to add, update, delete, and view customer details. For CSS, just follow the existing component style. Press Enter and then let Cloud Code work on this request. And here, you can see that Cloud Code will use the agent we just created to create the customer page. And then after a while, the React Component Builder agent will be active. We can see that it's marked with red color here. And so it will start processing the request. It will scan the existing project and then create a step-by-step -step to do list to implement the customer page. So that's how you can call custom agents in Cloud Code. I will skip a bit to when this generation is finished so that we can see the result. Alright, so the sub agent has finished processing the request here and we can see the report from Cloud Code. The React Component Builder agent has successfully implemented a complete customer management system with full CRUD functionality. The implementation includes the following key components and features, and the customer page is now fully integrated into your CRM dashboard following the existing components, patterns, and styling. And if we open the project in VS Code here, we can see that we have several new components. There is customer details, customer list, customer management, and so on. Now, if we open the project in the browser, we can already see the customer page here. The customer data is displayed nicely. Uh, the UI looks great. And uh, let's try to delete the customer here. And we have this confirmation window. So let's click delete again. And now the customer is deleted. Next, let's edit an existing customer. Here, I will change the customer name slightly. After that, click Save. And now we can see the last name of this customer has been changed. And next, let's create a new customer. I will just put a fictional customer data here. And then just click the Add Customer button. And yeah, the customer is added. We can also search the customer with this search box. And then we can filter by status, but there are only active customers for now, so no result will be shown on other statuses. And then we can sort by specific parameters here. And yeah, so everything is going well here. Now let's do another test. First, I will add a new agent for code refactoring, so type slash agents and then press enter. And then select create new agent again, but this time I will select manual configuration. Now we are asked to input the agent name, so I will enter code refactorer as the name, and then Cloud will ask for the system prompt. So I will copy one of the agents provided by cloudcodeagents.com. And here's the code refactorer. We can click on it to see the details right here. And then down here, we can copy the system prompt and then paste it into Cloud Code. Next, there is the description to tell Cloud Code when to run this agent. I will just say when users ask to refactor their code, and then tool selection here, just allow all again. And for the model, just use Sonnet again. Now for the background color, I will choose blue and then review the agent details here. So just press enter. Now we have two agents configured in this project. Now that the second sub agent is created, let's try to run it with cloud code. I will simply ask it to use code refactorer to refactor this project from using React scripts to using feed. Now, before we run this, uh, let me show you about the project. So uh, here in the package.json file, we can see that this project still uses React scripts, but React projects should use Vite as it has better developer experience and tools. So uh, let's run this prompt and Cloud will proceed to complete the request. Uh, wait, actually, you can also run multiple agents at the same time with Cloud code. Uh, so let me show you how to do that. 
uh, cancel this request for now. And here I will revise the prompt to use code refactor to refactor the project and use React Builder to build the settings page. Press enter again here and then let it process the request for a while. And then look, here we have two distinct processes running in Cloud Code. There is the code refactorer agent working to replace React scripts with V and the React component builder agent working on the settings page. Each agent is running with its own context window, system prompts, available tools, and request prompts. Both will also have separate to-do lists so they won't run into each other. Okay, now I will skip ahead to when the sub-agents have completed the requests. Alright, so here both sub-agents have completed their tasks. Uh, for the refactorer agent, it keeps repeating the npm run build command as it received an error. I will check the build tab manually later, but the refactor has been completed. So if we open the project and then look at the package.json file, we can see that React scripts have been removed and feed has been installed here. The settings page has also been implemented, as we can see the settings page component here. So let's run the server with npm run dev. Feed will now run the development server and we can see the project here. So here's the customer page and then here's the settings page that has been created by the sub agent. It looks very nice. We can search for specific settings, change user details and configure integrations down here. So yeah, Cloud Code can dispatch multiple sub agents in the background to complete multiple tasks at the same time. If you like this video and would love to support the channel, you can consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below. Or you can consider joining my YouTube membership where you can use this channel's emojis, get early access to new videos, plus a lot more. Overall, that's how you can use Cloud Code sub agents to greatly improve your productivity when using Cloud Code as your AI assistant. The tool is no longer a simple agentic AI in the terminal, but it's becoming more like a centralized command center that can create many sub agents to complete a larger and more complex tasks. Honestly, Cloud Code is a very convenient tool to have as it can run sub agents in parallel, which in turn significantly boosts your productivity as a developer. It's like having an AI project manager inside your terminal, making coding faster and smarter. And that brings us to the end of this tutorial. So what do you think about Cloud Code sub agents? I encourage you to try it out for yourself and let me know about your experiences. I hope you all enjoyed today's video and get some value out of it. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I will join the conversation and reply as often as I can. If you're new to the channel, Code Nathan is a channel dedicated to simplify complex tech topics so that you can master them easily. Make sure you subscribe if that's something you find interesting. Make sure you like this video, turn on the notification bell, all the good stuff as it helps this channel to grow. With that being said, thanks again for watching until the end. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you in other videos. Bye bye.